Take well, let's see what's going on. Take an ID with me in five times speed. Okay. First, we're going to verify the order. Then we have a tech who's going to grab some of our materials that we need. Go oh. ahead and pass them into the clean room after they've been wiped down with alcohol so Very they're important. nice and sterile. Then we have the tech who's going to be making the order. That's me. I'm going to go ahead and put on a new mask as well as a hair net, making sure to get all my hair into the net. I'm going to put on some fresh booties, only putting my clean booty on the clean side of the line. Then I'm going to go ahead and wash my hands, making sure Very to clean underneath well. all my fingernails. And we're going to go ahead and do this every time we go into the IV room. Doesn't matter if you've already been in there for the day. Mm -hmm. Drying everything off after we have washed thoroughly, putting on our gown, grabbing some sterile gloves, and we're going to put those on after our alcohol dries from our hands. Okay. After we've put on our sterile gloves, we can go ahead and grab what's been passed in to us. Then the tech is going to grab us our label so that we know what we're making. Okay. I'm going to look at the label, figure out what else I need so that I can make that medication, grab all of my items, get it all wiped down and put into the hood so that everything is nice and sterile, wiping everything with alcohol before it goes mm -hmm. in. Lots of vials in this. It's a Bumex drip, okay. just going to be straight drug. I'm gonna pop all those tops off. Know, Bumex is get a water every pill. surface clean and sterile with alcohol wipes. And fun fact, I actually didn't take sterile compounding in pharmacy school. Make sure I be cautious of all my first air using sterile technique. But I did teach it during my residency. As I mentioned, it's just straight drugs, so it's going to be 100 mils total, which is going to be two 50 mil syringes. And then I'm just going to put that into the empty bag that I have hanging in the IV hood. Definitely very calm and peaceful compared to working in a retail pharmacy, that's for sure. After I get all the drug in the bag, I'm going to pull out all of our materials, okay. draw back our syringes, put a little tamper evidence sticker on the end of the IV bag. Very important. Date it with an expiration date and my initials. Okay. That's all going to go to the pharmacist who's going to give it all a look over. There we go. Look at the label, the volume, okay. the drug. She's going to sign off. And in this case, she's going to put it in a light protectant bag before sending it up to the floor. And it's going to go in our tube system. And Look how cool that is. Shoop.